Hi, uh, today I'd like to talk about Xcode 7 and the table view. So this will be an introduction to using the table view in Xcode and specifically we'll cover um, storyboard and how to set up the table view in storyboard. So, uh, so anyway, so here I am in Xcode 7 and uh, I'll create a new project and I'll make it a uh, you know iOS application, single view application and click uh, next there. And I'll call it table view example. And we'll set the language to Swift devices to iPhone. And then I'll turn off these options here, use core data and test. And then we'll click next. And uh, I'm going to replace that other example I had. And here we are. So I'll switch to storyboard, and here you can see my view controller. And let's talk about what the table view is. So the, the table view is a vertical list of items, and it can really be anything. And you can customize the list to look like anything that you like. Um, you've probably seen this in a lot of different apps. Um, we'll take a quick look at it here in settings. So I'm in the iOS simulator, and I'll open up settings. And you can see this is a table view. So there's a bunch of rows here, and each row has a title and an image and you know an accessory on this side. So this is the accessory, this is the title, and this is the picture. And cells don't have to have a picture. So you know if I go to iCloud here, you can see this is actually probably a table view also, um, and this cell doesn't have an image, right? You know, cells can also have other stuff in them. So the accessory is there, but, um, you know, if I go to Safari, you can see that they've replaced the accessory with a button or a switch in a few cases, right? Um, here's a little note on this gray area here. The table view arranges cells in a list, and then it arranges groups of cells into what are called sections. And so this is a section here, and the section is usually separated by a gray area. And the gray area can have a header, in this case, search is the header, and it can also have a footer. And I think in this case, like, uh, about search and privacy is the footer for this section. And then this is the header for the next section here where it says general, okay? And, you, you know, you can have a table view with just one section in it. It doesn't have to have sections, but if you want to have sections, you can do that too, okay? So anyway, so there's a quick overview of the table view. Um, how does it work? In, um, in storyboard. Well, so here's my view controller. And here's a, a note before we get started. We're going to use the standard view controller and put a table view in there. Um, there are a couple different types of view controllers here, and one of them is a specialized table view controller. So this is the UI table view controller. And this is a view controller that comes with a table view already embedded in it. So it's integrated into the view controller. So this is kind of specialized, and it lets you do some some extra th things with the table view that you can't do when you add, you know, a table view to a, another view controller. Um, you know, that doesn't mean you always have to use this one instead of a regular one. You know, you can you, once you learn how this works, you can make your own decision on how you want to use that. Specifically, the 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 one thing that that this allows over the, adding a table view to another view controller is the ability to make um, custom, like uh, what do they call it, uh, like pre-configured cells in Storyboard. So normally when you add a table view to an item, you'll have to populate the table view with cell with data for each of the cells um, in code. Like you'll have to write code that adds the data to the cells. With the table view controller, you can create what are called static cells, and those cells um, you can set up in storyboard. So if you have a fixed number of cells, the, the UI table view controller is... An, is kind of good, you know, especially if you're going to set those cells up and they're always going to be the same. If the cells are going to be different or they're going to grab data off the internet and you don't know what's going to be in them, then this one doesn't really do a lot for you um, or it doesn't do anything extra. But anyway, so we'll, we'll, we'll maybe come back to that and do an example with that later. Um, I'm going to scroll down little ways and as I get into all these other objects, you'll see that I find a table view. Don't confuse it with the uh, stack view here, right? So this is the table view. And this is the UI table view. So um, uh, the table view is the object that, um, you know, contains the cells and scrolls and stuff, right? So, uh, so here it is. And you can drag it into your view. 
I'd position it. I'm going to drag it and then, you know, drag the corners here so they fit to the edges like this. And then what I want to do probably is, is pin the edges down so that my table view fills the entire view controller. Now, you don't have to do that. You know, depending on what you're doing, you could create a table view that maybe only takes up half the screen and you put some other information up here. And then you can scroll through your table view cells at the bottom here. Um, you know, a lot of cases, maybe you want the table view to take up the whole screen too. So I'm going to do that as the first example. So here's my table view. It, it goes all the way to the edges of the view controller. And then I'll go to the pin menu and I'll pin the um, left, top, right, and bottom edges. Okay. So I'll set those and then I'll add four constraints. And then that should, you know, size and scale my, um, my table view so it fits, you know, the view controller, you know, no matter what screen size we're on. Okay. So there's our table view. And then the other thing we want to do is we want to add a cell. So right below table view, there's an item called UI table view cell. And this represents one cell in the table view. Okay. So the thing about the cell here is that, um, you know, if we want to display, you know, 10,000 items, think your iTunes library, right? Um, you know, your music library. Uh, we really only need one cell, and that cell defines what, you know, a music item is going to look like. And then we're going to duplicate this cell for every music item we need to display. And actually, what the computer's going to do is it's only going to duplicate this cell to fill enough area to, to cover the entire size of the screen. Okay? Even if you have 10,000 songs in your library, um, and the idea is every time, like if you're scrolling up, every time a cell moves off the top, it will move that cell to the bottom and fill it in with new data. And it's important to understand that because that's what makes the table view efficient and, and work well. Because if the computer had to create 10,000 cells in memory, it would run out of memory very quickly, right? So really to display the 10,000 songs in your library, the computer only needs like maybe a dozen cells to cover the screen. Um, and then it just recycles those cells and fills it in with data from your library as you as you move down the, the list, right? And it does that for efficiency, right? And you'll see in code, we kind of have to work with that system too. So, so anyway, so here we are and we've got our cell. And what I want to do is I want to just talk about some of the features of the cell, okay? So if I, you know, if I click on the table view here, you'll, you'll see it says table view at the top, and then here are all the options for the table view. And they give you some options on how the table view can be displayed. Um, if you click on the cell, then you'll see that it says table view cell, and it gives you options for the cell, right? And sometimes when you click on the cell, it will get this highlight around it. And that actually, I've kind of clicked it twice. And so now I'm in the view, and the cell actually has a view object inside it. And we can see that here, like this is the table view cell. And right now I'm clicking on the content view. So, you know, if you're here, really you want to be up one level at the cell level to get to the cell options, right? Okay, so anyway, so there's our cell, and the cells have um, some predetermined types, and you can also make your own custom cells. So if I, if I click on this, by the default, it says custom, but then there's these four built-in types. So these are the types that Apple uses in their apps. They've got the basic cell that just lists a, a title on the left, a right detail that has the title, and then a detail option on the right side. And then there's the left detail. This kind of looks like contacts, right? And then there's the uh, subtitle, okay? So subtitle looks like the title with a little small text underneath, okay? Um, so these are the, the basic, you know, styles for the cell. And um, the cell actually has a couple extra features. It's got an image on the left side, and then it has an accessory on the right, okay? And if I, let me grab a picture here from my library there. Um, I'll grab this and drag it in here. So I just grabbed a small image. I think that image is about 32 by 32 pixels, right? So I'll copy if needed. And there's my image there. And if I, I I'm going to click off the cell and then click back on it. 
and then you know because sometimes the image list here doesn't refresh when you import something if if this item is selected so so I'll do that and then now you can see I've got table view cell and then I've got an image option here and when I click on it you'll see that my image shows up on the list and then I can put the image here and when I when I select an image it pushes the text to the right and fits the image in this location okay so that's how the the default image works in the cell and again like I said you can create your own custom cells that can look like anything you like um, these are just this is just the default cell from from Apple this is like their default cell that they have and it can have um, you know these features right and it works the same for all of the cells I think I think they all have the image in them oh I guess I guess the left detail doesn't have an image um, let's uh, get the image there right um, so anyway, so there's our image. The other thing the cells have is on the right side they have um, an accessory. And you can choose an accessory from the menu. You can even make your own custom accessories, right? So here if I choose accessory none, then we don't see anything. If I choose disclosure indicator, there's a little arrow there. And then when I choose detailed disclosure, there's a little eye with an arrow. And then if I choose check mark, I got the check mark and then detail shows me the little information button okay so anyway there's a quick tour of the UI table view and the UI table view cell and then in the next episode we will we'll, uh, we'll make this function and do something with it okay so thanks for watching